Hello, today we are going to start a new playlist and it will be devoted to production application. First of all, we took a boilerplate. We found one of the best tutorial I saw with Redux technology. It starts from this presentation, pain and joy of creating isomorphic application in React.js with Redux. And it is true because uh, <laughs> Uh, I really felt its pain. I hope that I will be paid back with joy. It was realized by this company, it's WebLab, and uh, Kyiv is our home. And uh, not only because of this, but we decided to develop this application. Everything works and uh, this is ready approach to create your content and to change it in order to fit your needs. The first in our work, this is authentication. It is part of almost any production-ready application, so we decided to start from it. I use Passport. We will go step by step in order to see how everything works. Like I show, it's possible to sign in. I started with Google+, and you can see that uh, this is my profile, and this profile is saved to MongoDB. We decided to switch from Firebase, despite its convenience, sometimes it's not ready, but the approach with Redux make it very easy to be database independent. So in your middlewares, it is possible to change your data source. Another requirement that you should be familiar with Redux, if not in order to get most of from this tutorial, watch our previous tutorial about Redux for personal apps. There we explain in details uh, how technology works and uh, other required technology. So let's go to project. Everything from Redux starts from reducers and uh, we are talking now about uh, our user. So in our root reducer, we require our user and I separated user in a separate file just to make it uh, more manageable. And uh, now we're interested in the first three actions. The first one it's a uh, login and, and this is a signal that uh, login starts. Login success and login error they are self-explanatory so it's very easier to conclude what they do. I would like also to mention that a user and this is bind to the technology how passport works so it is required to manage passport and server we will not have action which other asynchronous data requests require like number two this data is taken from firebase this data need is filled with normal request in redux uh, with user it's uh, a little bit different why because on client we cannot change authentication level it is always will be request to the server and let's see where it is handled so inside our config first of all we need to set up our roads we have roads login here Auth Google. So when get request come to uh, Auth Google, it will be handled by Passport. Inside the Passport, uh, you need first of all to serialize and deserialize user. When you get user object, it is taken from here. It is required in order to work with Passport, also install a strategy. I use a uh, strategy for Auth2. There are several of packages and inside the NPM repository it's easy to figure out which is popular. Inside strategy you need to provide for application client ID, client secret, callback and the last parameter is going to be function and this function will be executed when you successfully log it in and it will contain all the information the most valuable part is contained it inside the profile but all of this data you will get on developer console and it is redux application also I had an issue when you register your application and uh, when you 
you create uh, credentials and uh, on the uh, consent screen this is a screen that appears when you tries to log in and it will try to confirm that the user of the website agreed to share information with the app please make sure that your product name is the same right name of the project i spend i would say five hours trying to figure out why it doesn't work because when you try to log in it just generates an error and it's saying that another client and that's it and uh, it's very hard to debug but make sure that this one is the same and if you register your application with different name you need to delete it and set it up again and then it starts working you create an application on google developer console you will get your creden credential client id one file will be missing it's a secret you need to create it yourself please never commit this file to github you will have a pretty serious problem but it's a, a separate doc so when you fill it with client id client secret callback url set it up here and that callback uh, you will redirect to this address when google successfully authenticate you and this callback you also mention in your google developer console so what is happening now that if your user successfully is logged in it redirects to tutorials but inside of this yeah inside of this method in addition when the user successfully uh, log it in passport always save the user to request so it's very convenient then to check whether the user is present on request and if so we put it to the store and uh, with this functionality we check whether our user is already in the database i'm not using it right now and uh, i store the whole user in a session but uh, when it will be time to post it to production there is no point to do this because it's better to save the user locally inside database and only save user id and get all the information from database and uh, you can see that now inside database i do not store the whole google profile but i store only a small part of it that's why it's manageable and uh, when in future we will combine profiles of users if they log it in with different social network it would be easier to combine them and uh, cherry pick only those properties that that we need but for now we shouldn't worry about uh, mongodb or any other database so when password is authorized the user because it happens inside server it happens inside server all configuration with password and uh, with express and connection to mongodb happens before we start to manage it react application it means that when we come to configure our store on server we already uh, resolve it whether the user is present or not and if the user is present we just put it on its initial state and then we send universally our react component like a string to client and on client it's possible already to bootstrap with a store where a user is presented if user is not presented it is no and then we use very usual our application so inside our app bar we connect it to store and uh, despite the fact that our uh, our app bar is a component or another way it's a dumb component we still have connected to the store and this is a very i would say contradictory issue whether follow blindly this separation of smart dumb components in my opinion it's not so important so i connect this component and it's better than you try to 
uh, create a separate component with the one issue that be connected to the store but again it's up to you and uh, we mentioned in our previous tutorial all the pros and cons of each component and then once we connected uh, to the store we on our pros we have user and now uh, if user is present we created this component user where we pass user and uh, that component then I render it with uh, image or if user is not present we just specify sign up sign in uh, now it's only login sign in but it will be sign up as well so this is uh, how authentication works and uh, yeah, now everything works and in the future tutorial we will explain next part how this brilliant application works thank you